My name is Minoru Suganuma, 27 years old. I got into an accident a year and a half ago when I tried to help someone while heading home. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's all because they fell down in a horrible spot. What should I do? What should I... Hayate. Was it? You like soccer? Are you good? Huh? Yeah. I've been playing soccer for as long as I can remember. I used to be in junior youth. I'm attending a pretty strong school right now. That's impressive. Are you trying to go pro? Yeah. Is that so? I'm jealous. I've always been bad at sports, and I never got more than a C in phys ed. You see, my programming skills are exceptional. My company's actually got high hopes for me as a programmer. So, something like losing function in one of my legs won't bother me at all. As long as my hands move, I can do my work. Suganuma, you're so kind. I'm glad I was able to save a prospective soccer player, so don't worry about it. While it was true that I was acting strong so I wouldn't worry a boy with a bright future, I also knew that I could continue working and could stay optimistic. My company also listened to my story and understands my situation. They also suggested working from home, but I declined it. I know that option would have been easier, but both my parents have passed away and I have no siblings nor partner, so I don't want to stop meeting people at work. Ah, another day finished. Oh, I'm so tired. My arms are exhausted. I want an electric wheelchair. I can go to the restroom alone and my reproductive functions are fine. But thinking about my own future, I've been having sleepless nights from all the worries. Would you like to eat over at our place next Saturday? Father will come pick you up. Let's have sukiyaki. You mentioned before that you like to eat some. Without Minoru-san, I think Hayate would cry. Uh, I can't make Hayate cry. I'll go. Please let your father know. There. But I didn't regret trying to save Hayate a single bit. And that's probably because it's all thanks to Hayate's family. Hayate's family is very nice. Hayate's mother occasionally invites me to eat. Hayate's father even bought a car that would allow me to ride on a wheelchair. Subaru, his older brother, says that I can call him up if I'm ever worried with anything. Fumika, his older sister, is apparently concerned with how I'm doing and often messages me to check in. And Hayate practices soccer diligently, saying he won't waste the fact that his life was saved. A scouter for the J Club talked to me at the tournament, saying he's got high hopes for me. That's impressive. I'll definitely go pro. I'll be an Olympic athlete. I have high hopes for you. Take care of yourself. Minoru, thank you so much for coming. How is your health lately? I'm doing fine. Getting used to living with the wheelchair. Please let me know if there's anything you need. I'll... No, we'll do anything to help Minoru. We are forever indebted to you for saving Hayate. You don't have to feel so guilty. In fact, I think I'm rather blessed. Because although I can't move my leg, I got to know you all. I've always dreamt of spending time with family like this. It may be hard for me to have my own family, so I appreciate it. Th then... Eh? Huh? Ah, no, it's nothing. In this manner, a year and a half has passed of being helped by Hayate's family. I was getting used to life in a wheelchair, but I'm troubled by Hidoi, who recently joined our workplace and is ruthless towards me. Ouch! Ugh, you're in the way. If you have to use that kind of thing, why don't you work from home? Oh, I'm sorry. When I got on the elevator with you before, my stockings had static electricity running through it. You need to be aware that you're bothering others more than you think. My colleagues and supervisors have told Hidoi the events leading up to me being coming wheelchair bound. She won't stop insulting me. This wounded even me. The reason I'm able to come to work is because of the other employees' cooperation. But maybe everyone is bothered by me like Hidoi. I thought I was doing well, but maybe I have to work from home. A few days later, when I was eating at Hayate's place after being invited by Fumika, her father said the following to me. Your birthday is this month, right? How about we go to a restaurant together? You don't have to take care of me so much. It's not just for your birthday. So let's go together. Huh? Is it for some occasion? <laughs> You'll understand once you get there. And so, on the day of my birthday, I went to an expensive looking restaurant with Hayate's family. It was a great celebration, but 
By coincidence, Hadoya was there with her boyfriend too, and our eyes met. Ugh, I can't believe I have to meet a disabled person here. The proposal is ruined. I'm disappointed. Hey, cut that out! Oh, it's no problem. I know that person from work. He's a freeloader who's always causing issues for others, though. Apparently, he saved some kid he doesn't know and can't walk now because of that. And so the company tells us to be nice to him, but it's like, so what? I'm sure someone like him would never be able to propose to anyone. Who'd want to take care of him forever? He's got no right to be happy. You... Do you understand what you're saying? Hey! Is this woman your fiance? Y yes I'm very sorry. I didn't know she was someone who would say something like this. I'm shocked as well. Uh, what? Who is this person? This person is my boss! And the person you're insulting saved my manager's son! Eh? I've always heard the story of the person who saved his son from my manager and of what of an impressive character he is. I've also respected his courage and quality of personality. This is the first time I've met him, but I was able to tell from how my manager's family is treating him. <sighs> hey, then why didn't you tell me? Are you saying that you wouldn't have said those things if you knew I was his supervisor? That's not right. Such words would not be acceptable under any circumstances. Hey, you said earlier that Minoru had no right to be happy. How do you think you have the right to deem that he has no right to be happy? Why do you think that Minoru has nothing to do with proposals and such forever? The that's The reason we invited Minoru to this restaurant as a family isn't just to celebrate his birthday. I was going to ask Minoru to be in a relationship with me and eventually get married. I've fallen in love with Minoru, who kindly consoles Hayate when he cries and each time he goes to visit you at the hospital. I love your kindness and how you keep up a pleasant smile in front of us, even when every day is difficult for you. I want to support you. But... I'm sure being with me would be troublesome. You've been kind enough to me, so you don't have to support me more. I thought of this many, many times over the past year and a half. If I'm with you, perhaps there would be struggles that I haven't even thought of. But... even through that, I'd want to be with Minoru. The reason I wanted to confess before my family is because I wanted you to understand my commitment. And because we wanted you to know that our whole family wants to support you. Don't worry, I have a supportive family behind me. Father's financial stability, mother's special houseworking skills, our eldest brother's strength, my younger brother's bright future. And with me, with mediocre talents, there's nothing to fear. Fumika, you don't have to say that you have no talents with such confidence. I might at least be able to make Minoru smile. You do. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we ask you to be with her considering marriage? For the past year and a half, Fumika wouldn't stop talking about how to get married with you. I wish for this too! I love suganuma san too! Please, marry my sister and be by my side forever! Hayate, that makes it more complicated! <laughs> uh, I can't imagine a life without you all anymore. Fumika, I'm in a state like this, but I'll do my best to make you happy. May I ask for your hand as well? Yes. I'm glad. He was truly an impressive person. Where are you going? I am disgusted by you as a human being. I would like to take back my proposal today. I can't say that you have no right to be happy, but... I can't hope to be the person to make you happy. The next week, Doi quit the company. Apparently, she couldn't come back from the shock of having the marriage proposal canceled and became unable to attend work. After that, I moved to Ayate's home and started living with them. I haven't married Fumika yet, but it's as if we're family already. minoru son! I got accepted to the J Club! Really? Then we have to have a celebration! I've gained more than I've lost. I am blessed, helping others and being helped. I am savoring those fortunate days of supporting one another. Not- I'm Riku Takane. I'm 30 years old, single, and work for a company. Today is my day off and I'm out, but- Hmm? Wait. Where have I seen that face before? Hmm? I feel like I've heard that voice before. 
are you by any chance? You mammy? No. Riku Takane? How could you mistake Takane for you memmy? This sarcastic remark must be intentional. No way. Um, are you Santa Fukue? That's right. Who would have thought I would meet someone from college? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what kind of coincidence it is that I ran into my ex-girlfriend from many years ago just as I was visiting here on my day off. Even I can't read those odds. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing here? You don't live here, do you? No, it's not like I live here, but... I knew it! There's no way you mammy can afford to live in such a magnificent mansion! What? Thinking you'll live in a place like this in the future? Are you dreaming as usual? How many years have you been dreaming like that? <laughs> You're probably just a shabby company man, aren't you? Well, I do have a job at a company, but... <laughs> you see, I knew it! I knew what kind of life you were going to lead. It's a good thing we broke up. Yeah, maybe it was. Unlike you, I'm a connoisseur. My current boyfriend lives on the top floor of this tower mansion. He's a world apart from you, isn't he? Well, that's all for now. Now, will you move? You're in the way. Oh, you too. You weren't home when I came by, so I'm coming back. Oh, dear. You disrespect me one-sidedly. What a disaster. Saina and I had a relationship when we were students, but it was short-lived. I have worse memories of the relationship with Saina than breaking up with her. What? Wait a second. What did you just say, Riku? I'd like to be an investor eventually. Sounds fun, and I could save some money. Come on, what? Are you serious? You're the romantic type? What is that supposed to be? Like a man's dream or something? What? It's not like that, but I'm just interested in that kind of life for my future. Wow. Not a student who dreams of being an investor. Come on. What? I didn't think someone smart like you would have such childish dreams. You're the type of person who wastes their own talents. I can't go out with a dreamer who's chasing after things like that. Let's break up. What? Why so sudden? For that reason? It's an important reason. And one that could ruin the rest of your life. So it's better to find someone else with more potential. But... I thought you liked me! I did like you, Riku Takane. Dreamy, dreamy Riku has zero appeal. Bye! Why don't you keep dreaming until you're grandpa? No. I can't even remember what I liked about Sana at the time anymore. I was more hurt from the fact that she left me laughing for that reason than getting dumped. I had already forgotten about it, and I never thought I would see her again in a place like that yesterday. Oh, did she mention that her boyfriend lives on the top floor? That means... What? No way! I never thought I'd see you again after! What? Sena? Why did you sit next to me when there are other seats available? You know him? Oh, don't mind him. He's just some guy I broke up with years ago, when I was a student. Even if that's the case, wouldn't you take a seat away from them out of consideration? I'll have a cappuccino and cheesecake. And I'll have a mocha blend coffee. His name is Riku. The reason why we broke up is because he was a bit of a cringy guy. At the age when he was looking for a job, he started talking about his dream of becoming an investor. It's like an edgy kid trying to be cool, isn't it? I don't think I could live with that. You're going to live a gray life with broken dreams, aren't you? <laughs> huh? Didn't you say you worked at a company? You're here in the middle of the day on a weekday. Maybe you're unemployed but trying to look cool. <laughs> Lame. That's a lot of one-sided speculation. Um, isn't that the same for you who's here on a weekday? I start work at night. Besides, Yuto is a young business owner, and he's even featured in business magazines. And he's handsome. He's a world apart from someone like you, who's unemployed and looking for a job on their phone during the day. Our speculations just keep growing. It's kind of cool being an investor. 
being in tune with the times. What? You tell. Yeah, they are. Investing is all about analysis. Um, are you her boyfriend by any chance? The one that lives on the top floor of a tower mansion nearby? Oh, yes, that's right. My name is Yuto Tahara. Isn't the view nice there? You can see Tokyo Tower and Sky Tree. And it's an entire floor, so there's a lot of space. Yes, that's right. It's very comfortable, and I'm happy I get to rent the place. Oh, wait. Wait, you two. What? Did you say? What? I'm just said I'm happy being able to rent the place. What? What is that? I didn't hear that. Rent? You're renting the place? You said you were a business owner living in a tower mansion, so I thought you bought it. A CEO renting a place out? Well, it's true that I didn't tell you, but... What? Is renting such a big deal? Don't you even realize that? You've been interviewed by business magazines. You're a person with publicity. You're a high-profile CEO. And you're living in a rental apartment? Huh, this is beyond embarrassing. Wait, what? It's embarrassing? What? It's like watching me in the old days. I guess history repeats itself. You know, it seems like you're looking down on renters, but even the rent over there is in the seven figures. What? You're able to tell that it's in the seven digits. Even if it was a guess, you sounded pretty sure. Are you in the real estate business? <laughs> no, 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 no. I know just because I used to live there. What? I found another tower mansion I wanted to live in, so I moved out. But I decided to put my former residence to good use and rented it out. I guess we never met in person. Wh what? So you were the owner of that top floor? <laughs> what a surprise! I'm the owner, and I was at the Management Association's general meeting yesterday, too. I'm glad to know that you're living in the house without any trouble. So you must be a successful investor. I guess you could say that, but it's not my main job. I imply my investment skills to run a company on the side. Many people who are not familiar with the term investment have a suspicious image of it being similar to gambling. But in reality, investment is about analyzing trends, charts, and other information and invest in money in things that will increase in value in the future. In other words, you are buying the potential of the future. This ability can be applied to your work. I understand. I see. So it's an investment in the future, so to speak. Riku-san, how have you actually... Hold up! You tell, why don't you just eat your cake? Riku, come here for a second. What? What do you want? I have a bad feeling about this. Look, Riku, I can go out with you one more time if you want. Wow, I was right. A friend of mine from college told me that you're pretty depressed after we broke up. I can understand that. I'm popular as the butterfly of the night right now. So you must have been very lucky to have dated me in college, right? Well, don't worry about you two. I'll make a clean slate after this. I'm sure I'll be called a lousy boss's wife too if I get together with a lousy boss. Living in a rental apartment to this day? I'll never get out of that. So come back to me again. What? Cappuccino and a cheesecake again? Hey Riku, we're in the middle of a conversation. I see. It's an outdoor equipment company? Yes. A manga about camping solo was made into a TV drama and anime, and it was a hot topic on SNS, so there were signs of a boom. I didn't have much of a desire for material things to begin with, so I had some money saved up and decided to start my own camping equipment company. Uh, hey, Riku? And then the camping boom came as I had predicted. You mean that was the outdoor equipment company? It's one of our clients. I run a kitchen goods company, and we're taking advantage of the camping boom to develop cooking goods that can be used outdoors. What? Really? I see. Please keep me posted. I'd love to learn more about your investments. Hey, Riku, are you listening? Of course. Well, it's important not to get involved in anything shady. For example, for stocks, it is also important to minimize the damage by cutting your losses and throwing away the bad ones immediately. I see, that's a great point! What? What? Let's change locations then. I know another coffee shop with a nice atmosphere. I'd love to! Alright, you heard that. Thank you. No! 
After that, Sena, who doesn't have my contact information, tried to ask Yuto-san. But Yuto-san, who found out her true nature, didn't give her the time of day. I continue to keep a good relationship with him, both in private and at work. My name is Riku Takamoto. I'm 29 and have a four-year-old daughter. My wife Yuri was always a little fragile and got really sick when she gave birth to my daughter. Two years ago, when my daughter was two years old, she passed away. So I live with my daughter now. I'm home! Welcome home, Daddy! Hey, welcome home. I'll get dinner ready for you. Thank you as always, Mom. Don't worry about it. If it's for Lena, I can do anything. Grandpa, too! <laughs> I love you, Grandpa! I was so worried when Yuri passed, but I'm so glad Mom and Dad are so willing to help out. I work at a private detective's office where there are about seven employees. The office is right next to my apartment, but I often work on the weekends as well, so I wasn't sure where I could have Lena stay. My parents immediately sold their house to move in next door to me. When it's the weekend or something urgent happens, I ask them to look after Lena, which really helped me out. Thanks for today. Grandpa! Grandma! Good night! I was just glad to have been able to be around Lena for so long. We're so lucky to be able to be with our adorable grandchild for so long. There are apparently quite a few grandparents who don't get to hang around their grandkids that much. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. What did you want to read today? I want to read Ochiri Detective. <laughs> you really like Ochiri Detective. Let's see. Daddy, are you sleepy? Yeah, I think I'm just a little tired from work. But I can read a book. It's okay. I'll read for you tonight. Huh? You're gonna read for me? Yeah. Daddy, what does that say? Sure. That says... Ochiri Detective, I think. And what after that? Huh? After that? After that... I feel it would be better if I just read the book, but I don't want to discourage her. I really love my wife, and seeing Lena around as a reminder of her is nice. There are days I really can't hang out with her because of work, but I do my best to take care of her. However, society is pretty tough on single father households. I don't know if a man who can take his kid to school in the morning can raise a good kid. I actually saw him in front of the pachinko store the other day. Oh my god, what is he doing after he drops his kid off to the kindergarten? That's so disgusting. I've never been to a pachinko in my life. That's so gross. When did this kindergarten start letting in low lives like that? They really like to talk shit. But ignoring them has to be the best thing to do. There were quite a few rich people in the area of this kindergarten, and these three had the biggest mouths. I chose this kindergarten because it seemed fairly easy to drop off Lena, but I couldn't find anyone to fit in with, and they are always talking shit about me behind my back. I'm sure her elementary school will be different, so you don't have to deal with the parents from kindergarten. As long as you can talk to each other with bare minimum greetings, it should be fine. Probably. Well, and I wonder if Yuri would have handled this better. That thought breaks my heart. Daddy! Here's Lena for you, Dad. Thank you as always, Miss Monaco. Great job picking up Lena while also working. Must be tough. Oh, not at all. I just want to do what I can for her. Of course, sometimes I can't, but... Her grandfather and grandmother live nearby, right? Yeah, so I'm able to handle most things. They take care of the food and say stay with Lena on the weekend. Lena seems to be happy. She's being taken care of by everyone around her. You think so? I sometimes am unsure if I'm doing good enough for Lena. Oh, don't worry about it. Lena has the biggest smile in our class. Thank you for always being so kind. Miss Donico included, there are so many nice people around me. That's why I never really cared about what anyone said around me, especially the mean girls. One day when I went to pick up Lena, there was a stupid rumor going around. Oh, look, he's here. The guy whose wife left him because he cheated, lol. What? Are they talking about me? Still, divorcing? Kind of messed up for the kid, don't you think? Huh? I don't think anyone would want to raise the child of a dad who would cheat. They're just making shit up again. It's a waste of energy to talk to them. I'll just ignore them. 
I feel so bad for the kid having to grow up because of terrible parents. Right? She should be with her mom the most right now. You can't choose your parents. That really pisses me off. Hey, uh, Lena was a really good girl today. She put away everything and finished her food first out of everyone. Yeah, because your bento is so good. Oh, you liked it? Great! What? You make her bento for her? The mascot bento? Not grandma? Oh, yeah. Yeah! Grandma makes us dinner, but daddy makes me breakfast in bento. Wow, that's incredible. You're so busy and you do that too? <laughs> Thank you. I don't care what the mean girls say, as long as Miss Nanako praises me. Then one day, someone came by our office to investigate his wife. So, I'm pretty sure that my wife is cheating, but I want to have definitive proof before I ever suggest divorce to her. I see. Oh, this is that boss lady of the mean girls. However, work was work. I started conducting my investigation just as the husband asked. While the husband was away for work and her kid was in kindergarten, she was cheating with three other men. A few months later, I stopped seeing that woman at the kindergarten, and a woman who was most likely the grandma started dropping the kid off. I'm assuming the mom had given away all parenting rights. The two mean girls that were left behind started spewing crap about the boss that left. She cheated like she had a party in her pants every day. <laughs> it was so annoying how she bragged about being rich, too. She deserves it. Apparently, she said she didn't want to look after her kids, too. <laughs> I feel so bad about her kid because she was basically abandoned. Oh, screw this. I can't hold it back anymore. Hey, you! You guys got along with Miss Kanemochi up until this point, right? You were all friend-friend while she was around, and the second she's not around, you talk shit about her? Huh? What the hell are you saying? Are you guys great enough parents to talk about other people? Maybe you guys should look back on your own actions first! Seriously? You should really think about your own kid before saying you feel bad for someone else's kid. It's actually not even a problem with parenting. It's a problem with being a human. Mr. Takamoto! Our kids went to the same kindergarten? <laughs> yeah, actually. Thanks for telling them off. Oh, it's okay. They're always talking shit about me, too. Let's both work as single father households, huh? Mr. Takamoto, you won't believe what my ex-wife did. Not only did she cuck me, she stole money from me, too. My mom is furious. Can we go out for drinks soon? Of course. I actually didn't have any friends at this kindergarten, so that would really make me happy. Let's both work together. I want to hear all about how you raised your kid. Wow, Lena's father is a really good man. Seriously, he's so amazing. Huh? Wait, what do you mean, Miss Nanako? Huh? Oh, uh, no, you know? After this whole thing, the other mom started talking to me, and I felt like I finally had found my place in the kindergarten. You're seriously amazing, aren't you? Lena is a good kid, and you're always taking good care of her. I really respect you. Today's omelet looked really good, too. Thank you. Would you like to have some with me sometime? Huh? Just kidding. Should I not invite the teacher like that? Sorry. <laughs> I'll go. Huh? I want to go. But if we go, I want to go as someone who wants to get along with you and not as Miss Nanako. Is that okay? Sure, but... Everyone is going to call you Miss Nanako, I think. Huh? Everyone? Yeah. I'm planning to invite everyone and have a nice little party. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I wasn't the only one that was invited, huh? I mean, he seems to love his wife still, so I'm sure I won't have a shot. I wonder every day what I should do to be a good parent. I wish I could talk to my wife, but Yuri's not here anymore. But I'm not alone. I have a lot of people helping me. They help me out every day, and I work hard so that Lena can smile. Manager, there's something that's caught my attention. It's a comment that's been showing up on social media lately. Hmm? My name is Riku Ifune, 35 years old. I'm a manager at a certain company. Indeed. The number of complaints for this product is concerning. Good job on noticing it. Products shown in this picture are limited to the Kansai district. Check with the Osaka branch immediately and do a quality check. And you should also check with the production factory. 
If it's nothing, then that's all well. But if there are any abnormalities, inform me. I'll respond immediately. Understood. Impressive, Manager Afun. Your direction and decision-making are so quick. No, it's him who noticed it who's talented. Yeah, but if it was me, I wouldn't ask Manager Ifune. Wouldn't you be worried of what might happen because Manager Ifune graduated on an F-rank university? Well, that is true. This is Sota Higashide, a second year who recently transferred from a different division. He tends to find an excuse to make condescending remarks towards me, his boss. It might be because he's from T-University, and apparently he got through the entrance exam easily. His grades after that were excellent, and his entry into this company was without issue as well. He tends to have a superiority complex and feels like he's being compared to others. I have to admit that while there are some differences, everyone has graduated from some kind of college. I'd tolerate it if you at least graduated college. Eh, Frank? Can you even call that a college? If it was me, I'd be too embarrassed to name it. Well, don't be too harsh. It is my home school after all. <laughs> Who cares about what college you came from? <laughs> It's always the incompetent ones who whine like that. What? Is that a complex? All right, all right. Let's cut the chatter and get to work. Let's get along, okay? I mean, it's not my fault, but it's hard to want to listen to a boss who has less education than yourself. Hey, hey, Higashide. That's a bit too much. It's a joke, a joke. I'm gonna go get some coffee from the vending machine. Rough. What is with that college classist youngster? Manager, you too. You need to be harder towards sassy attitudes like that. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's not like I'm afraid of being called out for harassment or anything. Uh, it's just that scolding someone is against my nature. Hey, Yudafune. Seems you're concerned about something. Director Takase. Would you like to have a drink? Listening to the junior's concerns is part of my work as well. It's not really much of a concern, but... <laughs> to be honest... My wife is back at her parents right now, and there's no one home. I see, to keep you company. I'd happily accompany you. I'm unmarried, so I have all the time in the world. Educational background. I struggle with that, too. Perhaps it is the case that I need to be stricter? Exactly. Or so many people say. We're not so simple as individuals. There may be people who improve being scolded, while others may improve from being praised. Everyone has their affinities. It'd be hard for you even if you were to be strict, right? Oh, well, I must admit so. Hmm, perhaps? Well then, let's have this Higashide from the revered to university exert his full potential. <laughs> eh? But that's... Well, it's all about experience. If he has faith in the absolute strength of T-Uni, he can go and check that. The rest is up to him. No, it's not that. I was actually looking forward to it. As stated in the notice, Higashide will be transferring to the Overseas Project Team. Good luck, Higashide. I am Sota Higashide, 26 years old. The time has finally come! Gracefully skipping past the f rank baggage boss in a way of faded transfer. This must mean the company has finally understood the greatness of t Unity. Well, I assume it'll be hard over there, but good luck. Nah, it's nothing F-Rank Manager needs to be worried about. Don't be concerned about others and work harder on your own job. I'd get by easily once I'm over there. Oh, Higashide, please send my regards to the director over there. Yeah, yeah, I got it. My name is Higashide. I've just been transferred to the Overseas Project Team today. I look forward to working with you. I'm Mina Kitsui, the director here. Nice to meet you. Eh? This person's the director? Seriously? Are you kidding? She must be quite a bit older, but she has to be early 30s or something. Their director is this pretty? I hear you've been sent here for your competence, is that true? We've been requesting transfers for being low on manpower, so I'd appreciate it if you're an immediate asset. No worries! I graduated T-Uni with ease! Director, what university did you graduate? Huh? It's S-Uni, but so what? What are you implying? S-Uni? That's impressive! I checked everyone's home schools. Not only were there T, S, and K universities, but everyone here graduated famous universities. What is this? This is an elite team filled with talented members. 
You. What's the point of asking something like that? Eh? Remove absolutely worthless statuses like that from your head. The company only asks whether or not you can do the work. Eh? Uh, okay. Higashide, this is an overseas project team. But how is your language fluency? Oh, I can do English! I used to be a guide for tourists! Any others? Eh? Others? Well, I can understand some grammar and vocabulary for Korean. Hmm, we already have enough people in the English-speaking areas. Well, please start off with emailing some data reports. And so, I got to work, but... Uh, this isn't good. Words I've never come across keep showing up. I could search up each and every word and somehow understand them, but... Just reading this is a pain! Higashide, the meeting. Oh, okay. Damn it! I'm strapped on time! I showed up to the meeting but couldn't keep up with the discussion. And I effectively had no chance of participating. I was just an object listening to the talk around me. For the first time after joining the company, I felt an emptiness from my point of existence. Higashida, you've only gone through this much email? No, it's just that... <sighs> Tanaka, back up Higashide and help out with the processing. I'll take up your work. Understood. You, if you don't understand, ask. You're not a kid. It ends up causing more work. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> if only Inafune came. Eh? Inafune? It can't be that head, Frank. There's no way. Did I hear wrong? After work hours. I'm done. It would have been impossible alone. Director, I'm done. Okay, good job. I'm done once I write up my daily report, so you can go home before me. Eh? You're almost done even after picking up Tanaka's work? You... have you not considered why I'm a director at this age? I'm not sitting in this chair for no reason. I... I see. Getting promoted at a young age catches envy from others, especially if you're a woman. But I'm still fighting on. I wouldn't be able to get through with average abilities. Wouldn't that be easy to figure out? Are you just living life empty-mindedly? No, I didn't mean to make it seem like that. Wait, does she mean that F Frank manager too? Wait, uh, that group photo. Could that be manager Fune shown there? Ah, uh, yes, this is from a year ago. We took this photo in celebration of completing a big project. Manager Fune was also in the overseas project team? Yes, he was actually supposed to be transferred here again. Eh? Manager Afude was? Yes, he was competent. Despite already being a manager class, he learned everything from scratch as if he were a new hire. What was really impressive was his studiousness. Analytical, learning, interpersonal, and communication skills. He was relentlessly self-improving. So he very quickly became an asset to us. That manager Afude was... But he's bad at saying things directly. Well... Well... You're right. He ended up being transferred to sales and left. Before leaving, he was about to say something, but ended up holding back. What a coward. Why do I have to tell you this story? Come on, go home. Oh, sorry. I'll take my leave. Hearing manager of Fune's story, something started to change within me. After that, I focused hard on the work on the overseas project team. Everything I didn't understand, I asked my colleagues in between their work. I studied during break hours, transit, and on days off. And so, after working like that for one month... All right, and Higashide's okay with that. Yes, this is my answer after continuing for a month. First sales department. So to Higashide, I've returned to sales. Again, I look forward to working with you. Welcome back, Higashide. Manager Fune, I sincerely apologize for my behavior in the past. I was foolish. Oh, no, it's fine. I worked my hardest for a month, but it still wasn't enough. It made me realize there's so much more that was missing in me. So I'd like to start training from the previous stage and improve. So that if I were to go to the overseas project team, I would be of use. I look forward to working with you. 
It seems like Director Kitsui is still waiting for you. It appears it was a good experience for you. Director! I had nothing on manager of Fune. What? Maybe I was better at romance than him. Eiji, you're insane! Your records were top of the board again this month. Yeah, I really like that company, so I want to make sure to contribute as much as possible, you know? My name is Eiji Takatsuki. I'm a 28-year-old office worker. Her name is Kaina Honma. She's 26 and works in the same department as me. We keep our relationship a secret because she doesn't want to be teased by others. Hey, I want a new bendy bag for my birthday next month. It's a limited edition color. You can buy it for me, right? You realize that we work in the same department, right? I can't be buying that kind of expensive stuff. Wish you'd ask for things that were more reasonable. You're the MVP of our department. I'm sure you got this. She had asked me out, so we started going out, but I'm a little tired of her. Hey, Takatsuki, great job. Your sales tactic is doing extremely well. The higher ups want you to join in on our meeting starting next month. Really? Thank you so much, sir. I like this company. I really want to contribute to its success. My records were always appreciated and there were a lot of opportunities for me to grow. I thought today was the best day of my life when... Ah, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go to this restaurant. It's a five-star restaurant and it's at the top floor, so the view is great. Yeah, it was difficult getting a reservation. Let's hurry up. We only have about 30 minutes till the reservation. It's because you were staying so late to work. It was Friday, so I wanted to make sure to finish up for the week. Huh? A bag. Hey, it's dirty. Just leave it alone. I'm sure it only has trash in it. Hey, stop that! I hate that about her. It's an old bag, but it's using really good leather and it's well taken care of. Let's take it up to the front desk to report it lost. I'm sure the owner is looking for it. We don't have time for the reservation. We only have five minutes. Hurry up and get on the elevator. Okay, fine. I'll at least report it to the store then. <sighs> I think this is pretty much my last straw. I'm sorry. I found this at the entrance of the hotel. Can you take it? Absolutely, sir. We'll go ahead and deliver it to the front desk for you. Is it okay if we take down your contact information? Hey, are you done yet? We're on a date. You better buy me something really nice as punishment. However, the bag belonged to our company's CEO's son. In other words, the managing director of our company. On Monday, he came by our department to say his thanks. Is Takatsuki here? He is currently out of office for a meeting. I will take any messages if you'd like. I was out of the office, so this is all based on what my coworkers had told me, but it was interesting to hear. Oh, Takatsuki had found my bag on Friday and I wanted to tell him thank you. If he's not here, I'll come back. Oh, that was yours, was it? I was the one that reported it lost at the restaurant, actually. It was the leather one that had seen some use, right? Oh, really? I was actually leaving work at the same time, so we figured we would grab dinner together. He said to leave it alone, but I felt like I could really help someone out, so I reported it at the restaurant. Really? But the hotel said that Takatsuki had delivered it. That was just because I was taking a phone call from my mom at the time, so they had taken down his information. Really? Thank you. You are... I'm Hanma. I'm in the sales and marketing department. It was apparently all her credit while I was gone. It was pretty funny. To be honest, I wasn't too surprised by her doing that, so I just couldn't help but laugh. At the same time, I decided to break it off with her for real. I actually had really valuable contracts in that bag. I was really scared when I had learned that I'd lost it. You really saved my hide was actually an heirloom from my great-grandfather. I always use that bag when I have important contracts. I only did what was right. I should thank you somehow. Apparently he was talking business at the hotel conference room and mistook a different bag for his. Afterwards, Kaina was taken out by him to go get food and was able to start dating the managing director of our company, all while still dating me. I'm sorry, I wanna break up with you. That's perfect. I actually wanted to break up with you too. Don't contact me anymore. I know you were the MVP of the sales department, so I figured you'd be more willing to buy me things, but I guess not. Huh, so she was faking everything when we started dating for my money. The story of the young employee who found the lost bag of the managing director spread quickly throughout our office. A few months later, when I was leaving the office, 
kind of started talking to me again at the entrance. I think I'll be able to score an engagement from him, so don't ever tell anyone that it was you that reported the bag lost or that we were ever dating. I don't want him to think weird of me, so you show up to our wedding as a co-worker. I won't say anything. Also, don't tell him about the fact that I kicked that bag. He seems to take really good care of it and considers me as his little savior. Okay, okay. Jesus. I feel like if she was this motivated with her work, she'd be getting promotions left and right. But I don't want to cheat like this to get a better life. Okay, don't talk to me about anything other than work at work. <sighs> hey, cheer up. Just as I was about to leave the office a little tired, Maria Nakano from the secretarial department talked to me. Oh, hey, you're working quite late, huh? Mr. Takasuki, you were dating Miss Hanma before, right? That means that she was cheating on you when she started going out with the managing director, correct? And yet that's the attitude she gives you? I feel like that's a little unfair. No, I actually prefer that. That way I have no regrets about anything. I'm sorry about that. You're seriously a good guy. You were the one that reported that bag lost, right? I could tell with how she was talking about it. I mean, yeah, but I don't really care. About four days after that day, the director came to our department asking for me. Mr. Takatsuki, do you have a second? I have something I want to talk to you about. Oh, sure. I went to the restaurant yesterday to make sure I wasn't wrong about anything, but you were the one that delivered the bag, weren't you? I'm actually impressed that the people at the restaurant had remembered it all considering it was several months ago. They said that the woman you were with made quite the impression because she kicked the bag around and said it was old and dirty. You really saved me. <laughs> Don't mention it. Why are you bringing this up now? Well, I had a little birdie talk to me. Said that it would be in my best interest to check up on who actually delivered the bag. She was talking about that crap at the entrance, so a lot of people must have heard her. So I want to thank you formally, but why didn't you say that you were the one that reported in the first place? I'm sure that if you talked to me like Honma did, I would have really been able to help you out in the long run. Uh, I don't need any repayment. I'm not looking to get lucky like that. I see. You really are a key player in the sales department, huh? Thank you. I really appreciate it. No, sir. Thank you for coming all this way to talk to me. I have no idea who the little birdie was, but Kaina, of course, lost her engagement. The reason it was called off, of course, was rumored everywhere. How could she lie like that just to be a gold digger? Literally everyone was watching her in the department. She even made Mr. Takatsuki look bad. That's what she wanted to do? I really can't trust her at all. It's pretty scary, actually. <laughs> I'm impressed that Takatsuki kept quiet about it this whole time. Hey, you were the one that told him, weren't you? Nope. Miss Hanma, you need to stop. I was the one that spoke to the director. I actually heard you two talking at the entrance the other day. I know everything. Ah, it was Miss Nakano. Why would you do that? You really need to stop. You should use this as an opportunity to really rethink your decisions. She was rumored to be one of the most rotten people of the company. She must have been unable to handle it. She quit about a month later. Um, Mr. Takasuki, have you gotten over your broken heart? Oh, I never really had a broken heart. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine. I was actually planning on dumping her anyway. I really like that you had a strong sense of justice, but you weren't doing it for the praise. I mean, literally the managing director wanted to help you out and you said no. I don't think that a lot of people would be able to turn down that kind of temptation. I'm just another human being with desires. I'm not trying to make myself sound good, but I really like this company and its beliefs. That's why I chose to work here. I love working here and I really appreciate all the executives do for us. I know that if I work hard, they will give me promotions in the long run. I see. Um, would you like to go out with me? Huh? Is this kind of lucky thing really okay? I never would have figured that this would have caused the secretarial beauty Nakano to ask me out. Do you have any siblings, Mr. Takasuki? I only have a bunch of brothers. <laughs> I'm the fourth. It gets pretty musky at our house. <laughs> so you're able to take your wife's name then? I mean, I can, but are you an only child? No, my brother won't shut up about making you join our family. 
Your brother? Hey, Takatsuki. I was overjoyed to hear that you were dating my sister. Ah! Wait, Nakano? Managing director? I really respect you as a human being. I think you're a great person. However, I have one thing I have to ask you. Why didn't you warn me about going out with that devil of a woman? Uh, I figured a man of your skill set would have been able to sniff out that kind of freaky thing. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry I don't live up to your expectations. You still got a ways to go, huh, bro? Uh, shut up. Miss Honma really loved to live a lavish life, so I figured as long as her partner had a lot of money, things would be great. I just didn't have that kind of financial freedom. So basically, I took that pest off of your hands. That's not what I meant, but... <laughs> I'm joking. The whole thing really helped me understand you as a human being. I hope you continue to work and contribute to this company. Y yes sir! Who knew that I would be the one scoring with a VIP? I wonder what Kaina would say if she knew. I couldn't stop but laugh thinking about it. My name is Atsushi Wakatsuki. I'm a 25-year-old businessman working for a consulting firm. And the reason why I chose this job is... Wakatsuki, you really pay attention to people. When I consult with you and I'm in trouble, it usually works out. No, I just go for it because it's something you're good at. That's what it is. You're good at seeing things objectively, Wakatsuki. I've been the type of person that people often ask for advice since elementary school. And for some reason, my advice almost always seems to go well, and people often thank me for it. Hey, Wakatsuki, will you listen to me? What's wrong, Arata? One of my best friends and classmates, Arata Matsuyama, would often come to me with his problems. Arata's family was rich, and his parents owned a famous hotel. Normally, this would have been a great thing for a child. But for Arata, the only son, it seemed to stress him out. I don't want to follow in their footsteps. There are things I want to do in the future. I mean, I'd be grateful to take over my parents' business if I didn't have a dream. But if I did, it'd be a little tricky. I know. I feel a lot better just talking to you about this. Most of the time, I don't think I was saying anything profound. Why don't you do that as a job in the future? Huh? Well, what kind of job? A job where you listen to people's problems. These words my best friend said to me when I was a student had more or less an impact on my life. I began to think seriously that I might be suited for such a job. But that's okay. That's a great achievement. Thank you. I didn't think you could get a work from all the services when just one service for such a big group is enough. You're so talented. I don't even want to compete with you. <laughs> Come on, you should compete with him as a senior. You're right, Wakatsuki's consulting skills are outstanding. I'm just lucky to have good clients. I don't stick with clients who don't listen to me. I got my current job after researching various jobs that involve listening to people's problems. And by the end of my first year with the company, I was the top new client acquirer in my department. I'm counting on you. Thankfully, the results of the monthly customer satisfaction surveys are also tops. On my way home from work after a long day of productive overtime, Christmas lights were lit up in front of the station, and Christmas songs were playing as well. But it doesn't matter to me this year. <sighs> I'll be alone this Christmas. I've had a girlfriend since college, but we broke up recently due to various reasons. I'm known as a good counselor, but I haven't been able to solve my own problems at all. Hey, Atsushi's company pays really well, doesn't it? I happened to see the statement the other day. What? If you're getting that much every month, I'd like to go to nicer restaurants or get presents. One day during a date, she suddenly said something like that. My company pays me a fair amount of performance-based pay in addition to my fixed salary. And that month was a particularly good month for me because I had won a lot of contracts. Did you look at my pay slip without my permission? Yeah, there was an envelope in your desk, so I thought I'd see what it is. Um... You shouldn't be looking at other people's pay slips without their permission, don't you think? I mean, you can't just open other people's desk drawers, can you? Oh, it's fine. You know, I'd like to take a beauty treatment course. You'll pay for it, won't you? Wouldn't you be happy if I become prettier? We're not married yet or anything, you know. But when she found out how much I was making, she started blatantly asking for my money. And I started to think of many reasons why I wouldn't be able to marry her. Why not? She wouldn't break up with me easily, and we finally broke up just two months ago. 
So I was supposed to spend Christmas alone this year with no plans, but I received a phone call from a friend from college after a long time. It's been a while, Tanaka. Hey, how you doing? Mika told me you guys broke up. Well, our personalities didn't match. So me, Sato, and Watatsuki. How about the three of us without curls go together for Christmas and forget about everything? Oh, I want to join. I don't have any plans, so I'm feeling lonely. Later, Tanaka sent me a map of the meeting place, which was a luxury hotel famous for its beautiful Christmas lights. This is not a place for three guys to go. Well, well, well. I thought we'd just enjoy it for the feeling. I'll meet you there. I'll put your phone number down for the reservation. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. For some reason, the next day, I also received a call from one of my best friends, Arata, who I've known since high school. Watatsuki! I know this is sudden, but are you free on the 25th? It's Saturday, I'm going to a party. You have plans with your girlfriend or something? I don't have a girlfriend right now, but I'm gonna get together with some friends in college on the 25th, so I can meet up with you on any other day. I'll invite you again soon then. I really want to show something to you. Okay, call me anytime. And on Christmas Day, I went to the restaurant where we made reservation. But even after an hour, my friends didn't show up. No way. Sir, would you like to order? We have a reservation for three people for a course, but... Can you give me a few more minutes? Yes, of course. But well, we have a lot of people with reservations today. So if you could tell us what you would like to do with the food in the next 15 minutes... Hey, why aren't you two coming? Mika told me that you dumped her in a really awful way. Looks like you were cheating as well, huh? I know you've got money and a good reputation at work, but don't get too ahead of yourself. From the content of the message, I'm guessing that Mika lied to our mutual friends to make herself feel better. I see. They invited me here with the intention of humiliating me from the start. That's ridiculous. Guess I'll go home. I had no choice but to tell the restaurant what happened, pay the full cancellation fee without taking a bite of my food, and leave. Huh? Watatsuki? Arata? Long time no see! I didn't expect to see you here. I thought you were hanging out with your college friends today. It's already 8 p.m. Oh, I think I got stood up. Look, I just got this message. What is this? They don't like you? I think it's my ex-girlfriend. We had a falling out and broke up. But if that's the case, why don't you join the party? But I'm so plainly dressed. Wouldn't I stand out? Where do you think you are, Watatsuki? This is my father's hotel. What? This is your father's group hotel too? Today, there is a reason I wanted to invite you to the party. Thanks to you, my dream finally came true and I wanted to thank you. Arta used to talk to me about his problems when we were in high school. He loves fashion, wanted to open his own boutique in the future, but his parents insisted that he follow in their footsteps. I think you're too stubborn, Arta. What? What do you mean? Are you telling me to obey my father more? No, I'm saying that there are other ways to achieve your dreams than devoting yourself to just one thing. Luckily for you, Arata, you have a good environment. Say it so I can understand. I think there's a way to fulfill both your wish and your father's. No way! I'm sure there is. You'll understand when you meet my dad. He's really stubborn and doesn't listen to me at all. Are you Watatsuki, Arata's classmate? I've heard a lot about you from my son. Nice to meet you. Arz is always asking me about the family business and his dreams for the future. It's difficult. He's always insisting that he won't take over the family business. So I was wondering if you could talk some sense into him. He's been talking nonsense lately about not even going to college. If Arza were to follow in your footsteps by going to college and take over like you want, at what point do you think it's okay for Arza to start doing what he loves? You also run a restaurant and a golf store in addition to your hotel business. I was wondering if there's a way for Arta's dream to come true as a business. That's what I've been thinking. It would take so much time to realize a dream like that. Arta, that's absolutely not true. I always tell you, but you're blessed. <laughs> Arta, your friend is quite the gem. <laughs> After that, Arta and Arta's father had many discussions and decided that Arta would go to college and join the group. I was able to come this far thanks to you talking to my father. Like you said, my dream came true much faster than if I had to do everything from scratch by myself. This is my first store. What? So you actually opened a clothing store? That's right. We opened today, so I wanted to surprise you. 
Pick anything you like. All right, let's go. What? What about the money? No need. I won't take money from you in this life. <laughs> hey! Looks like he's having a good time. What's going on? Who is that rich looking guy in the first place? I came here to see him turn pale from being stuck at a restaurant. Who is that sneaking around? You guys were here. What? Wait, are these the people who stood you up? They're my friends from college. Or maybe they weren't. N no, that's a sushi. We didn't sound you up. It was just a little prank. More importantly, who is that guy? Is he a friend of yours? Introduce me. Look, Mika, I didn't make any plans with you today. I see from Tanaka's message earlier that you've been lying to people about the reason we broke up. Who said I cheated on you? Who said I have money and getting ahead of myself? I don't even want to see your face. N no Excuse us, but we're in a hurry. My dad threw a Christmas party here today to celebrate the opening of my store. It's like something out of a foreign TV series. It's a different world. It's all thanks to Watatsuki. And my father wanted to see you too. Watatsuki, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long time. I'm sorry for talking so much back then, even though I was just a kid who didn't know any better. No, your words may have been juvenile, but your suggestions were great. More importantly, I'm glad to know my son has a friend who takes his advice so seriously. Let me express my gratitude to you again. Thank you. By the way, what do you do now, Watatsuki? I'm a consultant. That sounds like a vocation. I hope you'll continue to consult with my son. Uh, so many beautiful women. Why does Wakasuki always get the better end of the deal? It was your lie in the first place, wasn't it? Saying how you got dumped badly. Watatsuki, I'm sorry I believe Mika's lies. It's Mika's fault. I'm so sorry. Mika showed me a copy of your pay slip. I was so frustrated because my company went bankrupt last month and seeing how much you are making. Don't spread people's pay slips. Hey, traitor. What are you talking about? I know she's the one to blame, but you guys are just as guilty for not even asking him and setting him up. Arta, that's enough. I'm a consultant and there are some people who will never change no matter what advice I give them. I don't force myself to work with those kinds of people. Hey, Arata. Is that your friend? Introduce me. Yeah, he's my best friend from high school. He's a very special friend who changed my life. What? I'd like to hear a story. Hey, those two over there. Yes! This is my father's hotel. But I checked with the restaurant and they left a phone number and a record of the conversation during the reservation process. So there's still evidence that you guys made the reservation. Give Watatsuki his cancellation money back. Thanks to Harata, I got the restaurant's cancellation feedback for all three of us, including me. And... What? You're the only one who gets it good. If you had just kept your mouth shut and spent the money on me, none of this would have happened. We could have been at this party in the first place yet and lied to us. It's your fault. That's right. You got us all fooled. No, there's no way you would have been able to get into this party. The three members of the group who had fallen out gradually began to tussle loudly in the party room. Please take those three out of this hotel. Yes, sir! <laughs> I thought it was the worst Christmas ever, but it was just a great move that Tanaka chose this hotel. Um, I'm actually a model and I recently started my own accessory store, but I'm having a hard time advertising it. I heard that you are a great consultant. So, may I contact you to discuss some work matters? Oh, of course. From now on, I hope to continuously be someone who can solve other people's problems. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.